guys, Amy here, doing a household cleaning and organizing life hacks video. I am a new homeowner, so I was looking around my house like, what the heck do I do? And so I watched a lot of videos on YouTube and a lot of them were wildly impractical. You know, I hope to sell my house again someday and I also, you know, if you're renting, you don't want to nail a bunch of garbage from the dollar store to your walls and I just saw a lot of stuff that was terrible, some stuff that was good, so I figured I would make my own video with a concentration of all the good stuff. Stay tuned. Okay, so have you ever had a linen closet that just looks like chaos? Because these sheet sets, you know, they come with two pillowcases and they come with a fitted sheet and they come with, you know, a regular sheet and then it's like, ah, what goes with what? And it's a jumbled mess. Well, this is going to change your life. So what you do is you take just a pillowcase from the set and you stuff it with the fitted sheet. I don't know how to fold a fitted sheet, who cares? Just stuff it in there. And then you take the folded regular sheet. Stuff that in there. And it's gonna come out a little lump, but that's all right. And then you take the regular pillowcase too, add it in. And then you have an entire sheet set all in one. It looks a little lonely, so just flip. And it's nice and flat. Ta-da! Another hack that you can do is you take, if you ever, like me, have a hard time putting pillowcases on pillows, this is a trick. Take the pillowcase, put it inside out, And then what you do is you reach your arm through here, you get a little um, 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 and then grab it, you want to grab the tags because you know you don't really want to be have the tags brushing up against your face in your sleep. But you grab the pillowcase and then it is slightly easier. Ugh. These king pillows are and then you only have to do a little bit of this. So here's what my linen closet looks like after with all the fitted sheets just in their pillowcases. And you can see it's, you know, not 100% perfect. My cat likes to play in here, but I can very easily see four sheet sets all in one. Okay, so next life hack is having just a few small touches to make your bathroom sink area or the under the bathroom sink area that much more organized so the first thing I want to show you is this is under my bathroom sink is this hair product shelf so I have pretty much all my hair stuff all just nicely tucked away I have my hair dryer I have a bunch of hair products two hair brushes and my hair straightener all in one it's very handy and then you know I just have a very neat under the bathroom sink area I can get to everything quickly um, the next thing are these shelving units. Uh, I got this pretty excellent shower cap from Forever 21. This is I Meow You. Um, but yes, mostly like my pads. No one needs to see that. And just random stuff. Uh, probably a better example for all the stuff that this thing can hold is going to under my husband's area. Because I just mostly put random junk in under his bathroom sink. Um, so you can see it holds all sorts of random lotions and shampoos and, you know, just hold a lot. And see them here, more just random stuff. It's very handy. And it honestly saves so much space. I mean, just imagine, you know, this is like squishing everything together very nicely under here. And then, you know, you get this whole area and, you know, honestly, without this shelving, it would just be... So, highly recommend these under the bathroom sink shelving units. Okay, so one tenant of cleaning is everything has a home. And I started to realize that belts and ties did not have a home. My husband was just taking them off and putting them wherever. And so what really changed our lives was Tyrex. They're super cheap on Amazon. They can, they can hold belts, they can hold ties, and it's very nice and very convenient. You can also just use old, terrible dry cleaner coat hangers for scarves. It's very convenient. 
Another way you can use coat hangers is to hang purses, and even if you have like a heavy duty coat hanger, you can use it to hang backpacks. So I learned this life hack from my aunt, who learned it from a cleaning lady. Uh, you can, to be honest with you, I'm mostly just lazy and just put it in directly like this, but if you don't have that kind of laundry detergent thing, you can keep... Oh, how am I going to do this one-handed? Alright, so if you have a dirty laundry cap, what you can do is just put it in your laundry. Ugh. Just chuck it in there. Nope. Let's chuck it in. Okay, so after adding the dirty laundry detergent cap in there, uh, look. Ta-da! It's nice and clean, and it doesn't melt or anything. I've accidentally put these suckers in the dryer, too, because, you know, sometimes a towel eats them. And it's not a problem. You, they don't melt in the dryer, either. I think they're made to withstand this life hack. Okay, so I don't really 100% know what this is called. I was calling it crown molding, and my husband was saying, that's not crown molding. It's crown molding if it's on the ceiling. So, ground molding? I don't know, but it's around my entire house on the top and bottom floors, and it is great at collecting dust. So a really useful life hack I've learned is to use a dryer sheet and just go along. And ta-da! It is great at picking up dust. Now all I need is a skateboard so I don't have to squat around my whole house going da 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 So something that's going to save a lot of space on your countertop is one of these mail holders. Uh, it looks like this and it holds a lot. Um, if you think about it, just think about like how much space a regular piece of paper would take up and now you have all your mail nicely organized that you know you can't throw away or shred immediately. Uh, I'm a weirdo and hoard cards. I just you know don't want to chuck them in the garbage right away. It's sad. Um, another side pro tip is never set foot in Bed Bath & Beyond without a stack of these coupons. They don't expire and if you forget your coupons you can just go back and you know with the receipt and your coupons and they'll give you cash money. Seriously. Don't buy a single thing without a Bed Bath & Beyond coupon, because it's just overpriced. And then the other thing is just a little thing for uh, your keys and it's Juliet's head. Um, you know, cash, just random stuff. I mean, you know, it can't hurt just to have everything nice and handy. And then, ta-da! Nice, neat little countertop. Okay, so for pretty much cleaning most of your house, all you need are these things here. Um, so these are spray bottles. I believe this is 50-50 vinegar and water. I'd have to double check. You can just give that a quick Google. I have beautiful handwriting. Um, and then one for water and one for soap because I have some e-stone on my bathroom countertops and uh, you know, vinegar is a little too harsh. You also don't want to use vinegar on your countertops. But soap and water for your granite and e-stone will do the trick. And then microfiber cloths. So I personally can't stand the texture of microfiber cloths. It's like nails down a chalkboard. So I wear latex gloves. But really, uh, if you use you know vinegar and microfiber cloths on your stainless steel, it will keep it shiny. Uh, you know stainless steel is great, but it's really good for collecting fingerprints and you know all that stuff. So microfiber cloths I've also found are great for dust. Uh, they pick up dust really well, and they're just a great all-around cleaning product. This is really all you need. It's dirt cheap. Back when, you know, I was in college, I would just use 409 and paper towels and literally everything in the apartment. And, you know, that didn't do so hot. Um, I think you can use vinegar in place of Windex, but I still love Windex, so I'm a terrible person with my harsh chemicals and destroying the environment or whatever. But yeah. All you really need for 90% of your household cleaning are these three spray bottles of vinegar, soap, water, and microfiber cloths. So another life hack is how to keep your granite countertops clean. Uh, so granite is really great at looking clean, but not as great at being clean. So, you know, you think you have really clean countertops and then all of a sudden a glare goes over it and you realize just how disgusting it really is. So I've tried paper towels, you know, which are kind of weak. Uh, I've tried microfiber cloths, which are also just, you know, they're great for things like dust and baking stainless steel shiny, but they're not so great for granite. Uh, the only thing I found that works really well are these Trader Joe's kitchen cloths. 
and you know they, they're really big I haven't used this one yet but what I do is I cut them in half so this is a used one and it's also been through the laundry a few times no big deal uh, what you have to do is run it in the sink for really hot water wring it out so that it's just a damp cloth and then just you know and it's really the best way to clean your countertops okay so I am married to a nerd, so we have, I guess I'm kind of a nerd too, but our house has so many wires. You know, he's always getting the next best thing in the tech world, and then we have old wires, and then they just build up, and we don't even know what they go to, and we don't want to throw them away. So something I found really useful for organizing household wires is actually, uh, these I'll show you. This is gonna look disastrous, but I swear it is actually 50 times better than it was. Um, I used an old box to make like a tray. And so when we're looking for a wire, they're all nicely bundled so there's no tangles and sadness. Um, and then, you know, we're just looking for it. Ah, oh, where's that wire? Ah, oh. and you really just have to do minimal you know, disaster making to find your wire that you're looking for. And then you can just plop them all back in. It's insane how many wires we have, but uh, this is the best way I've found to manage them. You know, they have like those little booklets or whatever, they hold like five wires and it's like, that's not gonna work for my home. Uh, so yeah, just put them all on a tray, bundle them all up and shove them in. So this concludes my cleaning and organizing life hacks video. If you have any constructive feedback, let me know. You know, could I have done something better? Is there a life hack I missed? And also, pretty much everything I used in this video is from Amazon because, you know, I'm lazy and I don't really like going into the stores and not being able to see reviews and am I really getting the best price? So I'm a big fan of Amazon, so I'll put all the links down below in the description box. And all right, that's it. Bye, guys.